Question 11, we have reaction between tin and manganate, a redox reaction, and then they are interested to see that if we have 9.5 grams of tin chloride, how many Mn2 plus ions will be formed. So essentially, we have to find out the mole ratio in which the Sn2 plus and the MnO4 minus will react with each other. So we focus on the tin first. We have tin. 2 plus becoming 4 plus right and if we balance the charges we will have two electrons on this side so this is the equation that tin will undergo then we have to find out what is actually happening on the other reactant we have MnO4 minus becoming Mn2 plus so MnO4 minus becomes Mn2 plus. Now you can actually derive the rest of the variables on your own or if you can or if you want to you can actually go to your data booklet and look for the equation that you can use. In this case MnO4 and Mn2 plus so you'll be using this equation so I'll just jot it down 5 electrons Mn2 plus plus 4H2O right so now what we are interested in as i mentioned is to find out how many moles of sn2 plus actually reacts with mn04 minus one way to look at it is they actually we have to change the number of electrons to be the same before we can actually do a comparison we have two electrons on the first equation five electrons on the second equation so if you were to find a common multiple right we will have to multiply this by 5 to make this to be 10 electrons right multiply by 5 multiply by 5 and then to make this to be 10 electrons also we have to multiply this whole equation by 2 in other words we actually found out that 5 moles of sn2 plus is actually will be required to react with two moles of MnO4 minus. Okay, so after we make the electrons to be the same by multiplying them with a certain number, we will have the ratio of the moles that the two reactants will react with each other. 5 is to 2. And after this is just a simple mole calculation question. We have 9.5 grams of tin chloride. So if we can find out the number of moles of tin, we can find out the number of moles of MnO4 minus. That will give us the answer. So 9.5 grams of tin chloride. Let's see how many moles of tin chloride that will give us. 9.5 divided by MR which is given is 190 okay. we can work it out or we can leave it aside doesn't matter we can go to your MnO4 this is the moles of SnCl2 your moles of MnO4 minus is actually whatever your moles of SnCl2 is divided by 5 multiplied by 2 okay and if we work it out with the calculator we will have 0 0.02 moles Question 12, calculating enthalpy change of combustion of methane. Now, we want to have a change of combustion and we can use a data booklet. What we need to do is actually find out the bond energy of the reactants and the products. But before that, another useful thing that you need to know 
is to draw the bond energies of the common molecules methane single bonds oxygen is a double bond O2 there are two of them okay so we have this and then it creates carbon dioxide we have two double bonds and then we have water two molecules of water single bond H2O since there are two molecules we will have this all right once we have this it's easy to visualize what are the types of bonds broken and what are the types of the bonds formed and then we can now refer to the data booklet okay. for combustion we have some of the bond energy of the reactants minus sum of the bond energy of the products okay. because we actually have to break the bonds of the reactants first that will take in energy and then when we form the products the energy is given back up as an exothermic reaction so we will subtract the energy from there so bond energy of reactants minus bond energy of products that will give us the bond, the enthalpy change of this reaction so referring to the data booklet we have four carbon hydrogen bonds that have to be broken we have two oxygen oxygen double bonds to be broken and then the forming bonds on this side we have to subtract because they are giving out energy right? anyway we put a minus sign to take care of it already so there's a carbon oxygen bond there are two of them and there are four O H bonds that needs to be formed okay and checking the data booklet for all the numbers we have 410 496 740 for the CO and 460 for the OH right and then you use your calculator you will come to a number that is minus 668 kilojoules per mole right so you can draw out the molecules and the types of bonds that you need to break and the types of bonds that will be forming and then you take the bond energy of the reactants minus the bond energy of the products